A few years ago, clients would ask me one question that could really give me some anxiety in building websites with Diffy. And the question was, can you create a smooth scrolling carousel on my website? And I was always like, uh, how can we accomplish something like that in a different way? Why? Because this feature really lacks in Diffy. Mm -hmm. Am I right? So I tried to code it in manually, I followed some tutorials, but nothing really did the trick as well as a plugin I found a year ago, which would really help us out. We are gonna use this Diffy plugin to create three awesome carousels. The first one we're gonna create is a sliding logo carousel, which really you can show off the brands you're working with or your portfolio or anything else. It's really great. The second one is we're going to create a review carousel with people telling how awesome you are or the service that you are giving to them. The third one is a carousel with introduces the team members of your business. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's have some fun. So if you want to support me, then you can follow this affiliate link, which will help me out a little bit. Go to wpressdoctor.com slash get carousel and now we'll be redirected to the plugin builder which is Diffy gear all right we go to products we go to Diffy carousel module 2.0 and you can choose a license you can use one side which is just $15 or you can just choose unlimited sites would give you the access to unlimited use of this plugin which is really amazing just pick the one that you want I have the unlimited sites for all my clients and it works awesome it's a lifetime license so that's great press buy now and press proceed to checkout fill in all your details and of course you can pay with PayPal or with credit card whatever you want and you press place order once you have played you can go to your dashboard log into your user then go to downloads and press the download button for the unlimited site or the single license whatever you have and now the file is being downloaded to your computer you can press orders because now we need our license key so we press few and on this side it's also on your email but here you can find your license key just select the license key and press copy and we're gonna need it to fill it in our wordpress website so next step is let's go log into your wordpress website let's install the plugin right now you go to plugins you go to add new and we're going to upload the plugin and you select the plugin that we've just downloaded from Diffy gear and you press install now just a second oh we press activate plugin oh and now you see on the left side there is a Diffy gear icon so let's click on that one we have to fill out our license key that we've just copied from the website so just paste it in press save changes and then you have to press activate there it is our license key has been activated so now we can use the plugin so head over to the place where you want to build your carousel slider okay so when you are on the page just go to the place where you want to add your new carousel module and we are going to place it right there all right let's add a new row right here here we go and make it a one and now when you go look into your module sections you'll see that you have a new module called the Diffy carousel and that one is pretty cool so let's add it in okay the first thing we're going to do we're going to create a little slider with different logos or brands that we are working with on our website after that i'm going to create some more reviews so you can see exactly how we're going to do that and after that one we're going to build another one so but first the logos all right you're gonna press add new item and then we don't gonna fill out the title the subtitle and the content no we are just gonna add a image all right so for your logos you would need one thing that's very important and all your logos need to be png so they have to be transparent and they have to be the same size because when you don't use the same size things will get a bit messy so let's upload our files we're gonna use for this website I have them right here, just a sec. 
I just dropped the files and here we go. I selected all the logos of sport brands around the world. So we can really make a cool slider which shows which brands we use. Right, let's start with Under Armour. So the first thing you want to do is you want to optimize your alt text also. Now I'm not going to dive into that on this video, but if you want to know how to optimize your alt text for Google, just watch my video about the timeless pillars of SEO, because this will really help you out to get your website ranked in Google. All right, let's just use Under Armour right now. Upload the image. And as you can see, now we have just uploaded our image on this slider. All right, so here, don't forget to enter your image alt text right there below the logo. Now I'm just gonna use the logo's name. Normally in a website, I would never do this. I will always combine it with something this website is trying to rank on. All right, so um, do you want to open it in a light box? No, I don't want to open it in a light box. All right, don't forget to add the admin label with the logo's name. Why? Well, let me show you. If I save this one, you will see right here now it's called Under Armour. If I create a new one and I add a new image like the North Face and I'm gonna place that in the alt text again and the admin label is the North Face, I will get the North Face right there. All right, I'm just gonna fill this out really quick I'm gonna add a lot of logos right there so we have something to work with. <laughs> So when you've uploaded loaded all your files to the module, now we can start changing stuff. This is pretty awesome. Let's go to the next setting, it's the slider settings right there. With the item wide control, you can actually control the width of all the individual logos. This can be very useful. We're not gonna use it right now, but you can use it whenever you seem fit. Right, this is how many items you want to show on your desktop and how many items you want to show on your tablet. Let's make it three, that's right. And how many items you want to see on mobile. So let's change that to two. And here is the transition duration. So let's make the transition duration four seconds. We're going to make it a loop. We're not going to center the slide and we're going to put it on auto play. Do we want to make it pause on hover? Well, you can, but no, not this specific slider. And I want the scroller effect. So that means that it just goes really smooth by. I want that. And we're gonna make that nine seconds. I, this is the arrow navigation if you want it. I don't want it right now. I also don't want a dot navigation, but it can be useful in the next carousels we're going to create. So lazy loading, you can put this on if speed is important for you. Right now, we're gonna leave it off for testing purposes. When it's all finished, we can turn it on. All right, let's go to the advanced slider settings right there. The slider effect can be the default, that's this one, or we can make a cover flow. I'm gonna show you later on something with the cover flow. It's really amazing. We don't need a background for this one and the admin label is called Divi Carousel and that's okay. All right, so those are the basic settings. Now let's save this page. If we load the page on the front end, this is what you will see right there. Let's go to our place where you see all the logos. It's a long page, right? All right, here we go. Here they are. So now we can see all the logos smoothly scrolling on the page. But there's one problem I have with it. It is not full white. So we're going to change this to full white. How do we do this? Enable the visual builder. And we're going to make this row right here full white. So go to the settings of your row. Go to design. You go to sizing. We're going to change the white to 100%. Whoops. And we're also going to change the max white to 100%. Now this looks way better, right? I found the logos awesome, but I think they're really big and we need some spacing between the reviews. Of course, we're going to change those reviews to make them exactly the same. So this looks pretty cool. Now I'm going to show you a couple more things we can do with this carousel. So let's go back. If you go to design, 
So you can do a image overlay. So if you want to link them out to, for example, your portfolio, you can use the overlay, which is very useful. So you can click on it and you then you go to a portfolio page or anything. Then this is very nice. Uh, this is what happens when you enable the overlay. So if you make it like black, then it's going to be full black. But let's make it a bit transparent. And then you can also just add a different icon later on to change this one. All right, this looks great. Let's use a custom icon. And if you press this icon, for example, now you know that when you hover over it, there is more to this story. And people can click on it and go to your portfolio page. We're not going to use it right now, but it's a really awesome option. All right, if you go to image now, you can align the images. Um, well, we're only using images and no text, so this really doesn't make any sense. You can make the full white, doesn't make any sense right now also. So let's go to the image borders. If you want to have image borders, you can add them right here. We're not going to do it right now, but we are going to do it in the next one. So there's only one thing I want to show you in this specific carousel. If you go to slider settings and now you can control the white, we're going to make them a little bit smaller. Also, if you want more spacing between all those logos, you go to design, you go to custom spacing and you go to content. Here you can add some padding to the images. So let's say I want 50 pixels right and left. As you can see, there is more spacing right now between the logos, and that is a little bit more smoother. Now we can also make them a little bit bigger again. So we go to slider settings, the item white, let's change it to 175 pixels. Hmm, this is pretty nice. Let's make it 200 pixels to see how that looks. I think this is really awesome. All right, let's save this. And so this is pretty awesome. Just imagine your website with your logos or your clients beneath on every page using a the theme builder, for example. It is still possible with this awesome carousel. All right, now we're going to create another carousel with reviews. So we're going to remove this module and we're also going to remove this module. We're going to also place the reviews in a carousel. So it would be awesome. So just add the Divi carousel right there. And we're going to add new items. So you can add actually a title, a subtitle and content. So let me show you how it looks. So the title of this review is Mr. Arnold Schwarzenegger. And the subtitle is I love it. This program really changed my life. From a skinny person to a time bodybuilder. This is awesome. And we're gonna add, of course, a image. So what we're gonna use for Mr. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, you look awesome, man. All right, gonna use this image right there. Don't forget to fill out the alt text of this image. And we're going to we're not going to use social media, but we are going to use a rating because we're going to give it five stars because this guy was really happy. Just let me fill this out real quick with some other people and then I will style this entire thing. So be patient a little bit. So as you can see, I now have added some content to the reviews. Now we're going to style it. So you go to your slider settings. And we don't want to use the item wide control. And I do want, however, four items on desktop. I think the basic settings are really good right now for these reviews. We don't want a multi slide and a transition duration. Let's make this two seconds. I'm going to show you how it looks. Uh, we do want loop and we do want to auto play and we do want to pass on hover. And I don't want the scroller effect this time because we have seen the scroller effect in action. You can you can add it, of course, if you like it, but let's not use it this time. We're not going to use the out of play delay. And I want to have the arrow navigation so people can actually move through the reviews. All right. Item spacing is very useful. We're going to make it a little bit more spacing right there. Mm, this looks awesome. All right. Let's change it to 70. This is great. Equal height item. We don't want, we don't need it right now. 
Vertical align, this is actually where you want to align the images. If the images have different sizes, then you can do align them. Let's just put it on the top, all of them. Let's go to the advanced slider settings with the slider effect. Let's use a cover flow. This is how a cover flow looks. And now, if you now go to center slide, this combination is pretty awesome. So let me show you how this looks on the front end. So this is how it looks right now on the front end. Well, this looks pretty nice, isn't it? This is a very nice carousel, but we can change it even more because I actually, the cover flow, uh, I do not like it very much. You can still add it, of course, but we're gonna remove that. We're gonna style it a little bit more because I want, for example, round images. So we go back to the settings of this module First, we're going to shut down the content and we're going to turn off the cover flow and let's keep it on the default mode. All right, let's go to the design. We're going to style this thing so it's going to be fun. All right, let's go to the image border. First of all, we're going to make it round because I really like rounded images for the reviews. Just enter 50% and see what happens. Right now, this is cool. This looks way better. Let's make it a nice border. Let me see what is the color of this website. It really doesn't matter what color we pick because we have all colors in this website. So we're gonna make this three pixels. Yeah, let's make it a little bit smoother. I think two pixels is great. All right, let's use this one. The image border style, if you want to have it grooved or rich or dotted or you can do it right there. Let's keep it with solid. Image box shadow, this is some pretty nice effect. It looks kind of off and I'm gonna show you why that is because images doesn't have enough space around them. We're gonna fix that in just a second. The title text, let's change the title text. Of course you can change the color, you can change the font and let's align them all in the center because that is, I think that is way better. I, I found the images to be a little bit too big. So we're gonna change the size of the images. We go to sizing and then we go to, well, if I change this one, the entire module will be, will be sized. So this is not the right way. So I can't seem to find the normal way how to size the images, but of course we can always do it with custom CSS. Now, if you do know the way how to style it in a normal fashion, just put them in the comments because I am always trying to learn more. So let's go to the image section and just type in wide is well 175 pixels. That's better. I like it. This is great. So we're gonna use this wide for the images. This looks awesome. All right, let's go back to design. We go to the subtitle text. Let's add it in the center. This is great. This really looks great. Let's get another font. Let's use Montserrat. And we're gonna make the titles a little bit bigger. So we're going to title text, text size. Yeah, this is this looks really great. All right. Let's go back to the, the body text. We're also gonna center this one out. I like it to be centered. And of course you can change the font and anything, but you know how to do that. All right, so let's go to the next and previous button. Those are these on the sides and middle and inside. I want the middle and outside the container. However, this is going to be a problem because I made the, the row full size 100%. So we have to make them smaller in because now they just fall off your screen. So I want them to be in the top, mm -hmm. in the bottom. Hmm, let's put them in the middle and inside the container, all right? I only want to show them on hover. This is really nice. And I want them to be justified, of course. And you can even make custom icons for the previous and the next one. So if I want to have this little crazy button, I'm really impressed by the work they put into this module. I really like it that because you can style it like unendlessly. It's really awesome. You can change the font size. We can also change the color of these little icons in the next setting, color settings. The arrow color, let's make them pink also. Here you go. It's great, man. The arrow background color, I would say you make it transparent so that it shines through because now you can see better the A. 
The dots are those little things down there. I didn't activate them, but you can change them right there. So the Z index, you can just leave it the same because um, I don't have anything behind it or in front of it. So that's cool. Um, custom spacing. We don't need this this time. Item borders. With this border, you can create a border around the entire item. So that can be pretty useful if you're going to add a shadow to it, for example. This would be pretty nice. Sizing, spacing, of course. So now it looks like this and it's pretty awesome if you can even drag your mouse around it. Or you can just let the thing move by itself. Also on mobile and tablet, it is exactly the way it uses your mouse. It, you can actually put your finger on it and scroll it and you will see the next one. So this is pretty cool. Yeah, I really like this module. However, the star, I want to align the stars in the center and make them a little bit bigger. Let's see how we can do that. When you want to change the stars and you want to change even more about them, you can actually go into one of the reviews and press the gear icon right there. And now you have even more options to change inside of your module. You go to design, you go, for example, to image styles. You can choose the position of your image you want in the bottom. Do you want it on the right? Do you want it on the left? Do you want it inside of your content? Or you can change the, the, the place of your image right there. You can also use a filter. This is very useful if you want all black and white images through your entire reviews to make them all the same look and feel. This is very useful. We're not going to use it right now. So again, you can change the title, the subtitle and the content, but now you can change them per review this is really great you can even add a button we didn't really we didn't do it right now but as you can see if you go to content uh, you go to button settings and you're going to add a button then you can actually add a button below all your reviews now i don't want buttons at my reviews but you you can do that if you have all kind of call to actions down there it's really amazing so the social media style we'll be talking about that in a bit in a new design just hold on rating style yeah you can choose where you like to align the icons i want to align them in the middle and i want them to be a little bit bigger i like it this size so let's keep it this way you can change the color of it you can make it blue you can make it pink but let's keep it the gold i like that and of course, you can add a box shadow to them. Now, this would be pretty cool. If you add a box color, you would need some spacing right there. So we're going to add a little bit of spacing, a little bit of padding on the top, the bottom, and the margins left and right. Uh, and left and right. So this looks pretty cool. However, you can't see the shadows anymore. Why? Right, so you also have to add a little bit of margin to them on the right and left side to really show that the shadow of this review. So now we have a little bit of margin, a little bit of padding, and I'm really happy how this is going to look. So we added the box shadow, which is really awesome. And you can, of course, use your filter for the entire module. I wouldn't do that, but you can, of course, because it's standard Divi. The only thing now we have to do is we have to copy this style to all the other one. Well, it's pretty easy. You just press the right button on your mouse and you just press extend item styles. We're going to extend them to only this row and we're going to press extend. And here we are. Now we have all the styles added to all of them just in one. Mr. Smith doesn't have the rating and Mr. SpongeBob also. So we go to Meta, we're going to use the rating. We're going to add five stars. Yes, Mr. SpongeBob also doesn't have the rating. I think I forgot it. So yes, all right. So let's see how it looks now on the front end of our website. So here we are at our awesome reviews. And I think this really looks awesome. Oh. I forgot to put the button away from Arnold Schwarzenegger, but hey, this review thing is really awesome. As you can see now, we have the little carousel that is moving. Um, also, the buttons, of course, work. The pink buttons, you can also drag it around your screen. So I really love this module. They really put a lot of work in it. It was worth every dollar I put into it. I really like it. All right, I'm going to show you one more thing. How to create a team section with the same module. Let's go. 
So what I want to create on this website is also a piece of, of how we can introduce ourselves to the clients and how we can show off our team. So let's create that right now. What I want is, I want to have it right here. I'm gonna add a new section. We're gonna just add a regular section. Now we're gonna have, we're gonna need two rows of this. The first row is just a piece of text. Meet the team. All right. Now the background of this column, I want to change it. And I want to make it black. And let's create some spacing. And we're gonna add our Diffy module right there, our Diffy carousel. Mr. Tough. And he's actually a real tough guy. All right, so I have added a couple of uh, the team members and now I'm gonna style it to make it show only one person at a time and it's gonna scroll instantly all the way automatically. So it's gonna be pretty awesome. And when you click on it, you can actually go to the team members. So that would be awesome. So I want one item to be shown on desktop and I want it to be to loop and to out of play. And I want to have these crawler effects. Let's make it seven seconds so that it's go slowly. Right, we want to error navigation, yes. And no, let's save this one. As you can see right now, it is just really big. And I want it to be this way. Right, let's save, let's see what it does in the front end. All right, so this is how it looks now in the front end. And I think this is <laughs> really funny except that I should make the getter white to zero because now it stops right there and I want it to stop at the black one. So just quick fix, row settings, we go to design, we go to sizing and we go to use custom getter white and we're gonna, we're gonna make it one. Save changes, save changes. So this is the final result. I have to agree, it's a little bit fast. But as you can see, it is really funny. You can create the most awesome things with this module. And if you have questions about this module, just leave them in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up so I know I, were on the, I was on the right track. All right, keep it up and have an awesome day. And I'll see you in the next video.